Okay, so here we have a regular bag coke can. And what I want to do is just add a little bit of hydroxide to the inside of it. And a little bit of hydroxide to the outside of it. Add a little bit more hydroxide solution inside. And a little bit more outside. We don't want to get too full because we don't want it to be in risk of overflow. There we go. And what's going to happen there is that hydroxide is going to facilitate a redox reaction, but eventually the aluminum is going to get complexed by the hydroxide, forming a solution. Uh, and so as that's reacting, we'll eventually start to see some bubbling and things like that, um, as it evolves some hydrogen gas probably. But we can look, take a look at what happens to the can of significant time later, which is going on over here. So this was a Coke can, Diet Coke can, two hours ago, and the only thing remaining now is the plastic film that goes on the outside of the aluminum can, because all the aluminum has been dissolved after the reaction, except for some up here at the top, and a little bit down at the bottom as well. But for the rest, we have uh, kind of the packaging here. And you can see that when I set it down, it just kind of crumples and goes away. We have that plastic left, but the entire aluminum has been corroded away except for right near here where it's a little thicker and at the bottom where it's a little thicker. So we can see here this bubbling happening as the aluminum is actually undergoing a redox reaction in the hydroxide solution, uh, and that takes some time to actually get to the point where enough of the aluminum is gone that we can see it kind of no longer have that shell uh, when we get to the point where it's just the plastic underneath or on the top.